Hi everybody, this is Janet Wright and this is an introduction video where I introduce you to the concepts and techniques that I used in this triplet group energy healing set. It is early May 2019. The angels had told me, hey, you're going to do this physical level work, you know, for the May triplets. Um, and they told me, you know, this triplet set, this is the first triplet set in May, uh, going to do the spine, you know, physically healing the spine and also the whole lower part of the body. So, so if I show you on AccuDoll, <laughs> um, the muscles, bones and joints, um, from like here down in addition to the whole spine you know, all the bones the vertebrae of the spine um, which not including the sacrum uh, above that is like 24 vertebrae um, you know spinal column you guys have all seen the little cool diagram you know it looks all curvy right and then in between each of the vertebrae is um, a little disc and uh, anyway so I healed that the discs and the spine the, the vertebrae and then below from here below so major joints uh, major bones and uh, uh, major muscles so um, then next triplet set is the healing the spine again and the upper body so you know bones muscles and joints from here up uh, including the arms the shoulders the head neck all that stuff so uh, if you want to get in on that one there still is some room for that one um, so you can go for that if you um, I don't, just don't snooze I don't know how fast it'll sell out honestly um, this one did sell out um, finally it was a bit of a slow burn for a while but then it popped up to 80 people um, so there are 80 participants in 10 different countries which uh, that may be a record 10 or 11 different countries is probably the record um, I would think so far to date <laughs> for me as far as countries that participants are currently in um, and a whole bunch of kids so hi kids and uh, let's see I think that might be good for overview yeah and yesterday was the first healing of the set so it was the Friday healing there's a Friday and a Sunday and a Tuesday healing in the triplet group healing set and uh, so anyway so the angel said you know you're gonna heal this physical stuff right the spine muscles bones and joints of the lower body and I had um, I had done physical healing of bones and stuff for people with individual work um, but never as a group as I say and uh, and they said also then later on they said oh and it's gonna be about courage too and then I learned more through the Metatron recording for May 2019 which some of you well a lot of you actually have bought but if you haven't and you want to you can buy it on my website it's 15 bucks um, there is a free small, you know, the first like six or seven minutes I think are free if you want to listen to those there on my website um, There's a Metatron menu on my website. I may rename it at some point But it's called Metatron the menu and then you go down to that page and you can buy the the May 2019 recording if you want it explains a lot uh, Metatron and Ariel were Saying some really interesting stuff about your body your physical body and how you can resonate it with your courage and your love and your purpose um, and how that's very rooting in times of you know sort of mass public upheaval to be to have those spiritual aspects of resonating within your physical body that that's this extra level of stability that you can generate for yourself which yes please <laughs> so um so anyway there's that, that's talked about in the Metatron recording for May 2019 if you're interested um, but anyway so I knew this set was going to be good for courage and I knew it was going to be good for the spine and lower body muscles bones and joints um, but it really took me working on 80 people <laughs> you know like healing their muscles bones and joints of their lower body and healing their spine 
to realize like how fully people's past life baggage gets superimposed onto their physical body. I did not realize that. I knew that, um, I knew it was, I knew it happened, but I didn't know how much. Um, and I, I will give a small example. Um, the sacrum bone uh, is this funny looking sort of almost triangular shaped a bone at the base of if you know all the 24 vertebrae like at the end of those you know the little s curvy your spine right and then the bottom of that is the sacrum bone and then you have this little bone which is your tailbone the coccyx so but that sacrum bone it's really funny looking and it's actually five vertebrae fused together which i had to brush up on recently i'm not like an anatomy specialist i'm a i'm an you know i'm a spiritual energy healer reader specialist you know but when the angels say, you know, you will spiritually heal people's bones, then guess what? I'm learning bones. <laughs> so, so anyway, or relearning maybe. I, maybe I knew them at some point in school. So, but anyway, the sacrum is like, you know, maybe on AccuDoll, you know, right in here, because here's her curvy, you know, 24 vertebrae. And then at the bottom of that is her funny looking, you know, triangular shaped sacrum bone in there. And fun fact, the sacrum, uh, bone it's actually five fused vertebrae that start fusing together between the ages of 6 and 18 and they are fully fused together by the time you're 26 years old who knew that so my kid viewers don't yet have a fused sacrum. You have a sacrum, but there are five individual uh, vertebrae that make up your sacrum. How cool is that? But it's still that funny sort of triangular shape. <laughs> um, but anyway, so when I was healing people's sacrum, that's when it really hit me like, holy moly, the level of past life, you know, energy blocks, burdens, whatever you want to call them, that people have in their bones it was just in just in the sacrum bone alone it was it was really impressive like mind-blowing my mind is still a little blown the next day um so anyway uh, um yeah because i had read individual people like okay that person's sacrum bone you know there's a lot of resistance that person's sacrum bone there's a lot of guilt but um when I looked sort of more like 80 people, it was like grief, you know, past life grief, and even this sense of like nightmares, you know, like what are your deepest subconscious fears? And they're on your sacrum bone. Who knew? <laughs> so the upside of that, the, the positive uplifting side of that is you can heal your sacrum bone and, and, and really help yourself. You know, because I talk about it in different videos, you know, how if you don't clear baggage now, you bring it into your next life. Well, apparently you bring it into your next life and then dump it on your bones, you know. <laughs> it gets like superimposed on your physical form that you're going to have in the next life. So, I mean, not all of it. I think sometimes the angels will, you know, like save some of it. Like, I don't know, that's a little too much for you in that life, you know. So they'll give you a break sometimes, you know. So some of your baggage maybe didn't come in with you this time. But... I would say most lives, most of it comes in. Um, but I did not know it all gets, <laughs> it, like almost all of it is laid out on your muscles and your bones, in addition to your chakras and your aura and yada, yada, yada. So, so that's the upside and the amazing part about healing a bone. You know, who thought healing a bone would be such a big deal? But it'll help this life, it'll help future lives as well because you're clearing the that sort of mass of what you didn't finish clearing in the other lifetimes by healing just one of your bones. <laughs> Who knew? I didn't know. <laughs> so, um, so what I would say big picture is, okay, does everyone need to know how to heal their bones? No, definitely not. You know, what I would say is, yeah, it's, it looks like it's really good to receive you know, some healings in your lifetime of your bones and your muscles and your joints, for sure. 
you know and then I would I would say that to everybody you know I would recommend physical level healing like like I did in this triple set to anybody for sure um, but I, I still think that if you're only willing to do so much, you know, like on a given day, you just can't handle a lot. You know, Janet, you have no idea. I have two kids and I have a job and I just lost this other job and yada, yada, yada. So don't tell me I have to heal bones in my God, in my gosh darn body, you know? Um, yeah, don't, don't, I, I think this is cool extra geeky stuff, you know? But I just didn't know it was so important extra geeky stuff. like like super added value, help yourself stuff. It, it didn't register until I did it with 80 people. And then I was like, oh. <laughs> so I'm still like in the middle of that, oh, moment, you know, right now. So you'll forgive me. I'm a little, um, I'm still a little dazed from that experience. <laughs> I mean, healing 80 people is kind of a dazing experience to begin with, but that, that, that's just still blowing my mind. So forgive me, I hope this video makes sense. <laughs> so again, bottom line for my, you know, for most of my viewers, do you need to heal your bones? No, you know, I would still say your daily minimum is unblock your grounding and aura repair. And I do have that 10 or 11 minute video and that one will keep you very steady. You know, if you do that, if you do it every day. You know, and then you can, as a as an optional extra to that, you could do any of my other videos like that. Get into your second and your first chakra video, that's recent. You know, that would be a huge thing if you want to do two videos back to back. But but um, but I would not. This bone stuff is is not the kind of thing I don't think that's going to fix your whole day. Like. Unblocking grounding and repairing your aura would fix your whole day. That that would, that's still, grounding and aura is still like, that's your daily minimum. <laughs> Just to put this into context. But yeah, for my geeky, motivated people, welcome to healing your bones and muscles and joints. <laughs> Happy mind blowing experience. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Um, the. Technique videos are gonna be pretty interesting. I haven't made them yet, I'm about to make them, but because it's kind of like one big river of energy flow that you want. You know, so many people had so many blocks everywhere, <laughs> like massive past, past life blocks, but it's kind of a, you want this big long flow that goes all the way down and then goes all the way up. You know, so like all the way down your spine and then, you know, through these major joints you know, your sacroiliac joints and your hip joints and then down here and through your knee joints and then through your ankle joints and then down your feet and then all the way back up, you know? So it's like one big river. So it's a little weird for me to divide it up into separate videos, even though I know that's what I have to do. So stay tuned. It'll be in this playlist for this set. So you'll you'll it'll go right into it. I think though too, I will put the or repair and unblocking grounding right after this intro video. And so then we'll go into the the heal your spine. Okay, so that's pretty much what I wanted to say. Hope it makes sense. And um, I'd love to hear your comments or feedback in the comment section below. All right, thank you so much for listening. And um, like I said, don't snooze for the next triplet set if you wish, um, which is May 17th, 2019. And uh, that is for more physical healing, but also the spirit theme is um, love and fulfillment, feeling your love for things like love for trees, love for nature, love for everything, you know? Um, it's not like, okay, I have no boundaries and I love you know, my enemies all the time, you know, kind of lovey dove, but it's, it's like just being more open to the, the pleasant receiving. It's about receiving too. I know, I was trying to get something. <laughs>
So anyway, but it's also the physical stuff, spine and upper body, which includes shoulders, arms, skull, neck, you know, huge stuff. Okay, and uh, oh, and then I guess the last, last word on this intro video is uh, if you haven't seen the news video that came out last month, April 2019, I would definitely recommend that um, because it talks about how in July, which is sooner than you think, um, there will only be one triplet set a month and then there will be healing master classes um, that I do, which will be very, very cool. Uh, me and two archangels. Uh, and those will be once a month, uh, starting in July. Okay, love you guys. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Bye.